Welcome back. Mind control, three natures prophet, Medalina, Safeway, and Arc Warden for Doom. Now we are going into the salve as well as the mango, so he'll be ready to fight this Shadow Fiend once again, who is, at least for right now, behind a half level, and we hop. Did he stay too long? Mangoes and LSA hits, but is it gonna be enough? Dragon Slave, yes! Brock. She just made the rotation, as has Kuroki. They're gonna use the Scorched Earth with the Infernal Blade to hope that they can get a stun out here. They'll also follow it up with the Earl Boulder. Laguna Blade comes in, but GH! He ends up surviving! Gets the salve off. AUI is gonna fall. The multi shot doesn't get any kills either. Woo! Two dooms here to get a couple of stuns out on a Moomiander. That ends up. And they might be able to find Snaking here. They're gonna bring in the Nature's Prophet, so Mind Control comes over. Telekinesis drop him down. And, well, they've got. The heavily grace, it's just not going to be enough. They can chase all the way through that. They've also sent GH to maybe eat this static storm. But now that they've got this kill, what are they going to do here for AUI? They just let him die. Moomiander almost dead as well. Smoke, they want to keep this going. Maybe try to pull back on the net worth. Poor man's shield picked up by mind control. They should have kinetic field. They have glimpse available. Pull him back, looking for the Primal Roar. Mind Control now trying to TP out. The Treants are there, and they get the kill. Molina is going into the Blink Dagger. They've got the Yules. LSA hits. Laguna Blade right clicks coming through, but there's the Primal Roar as well as the Static Storm. Multi shot coming in, and they'll save the life of Kuroki as well as GH is now giving some chase. Will be the Lina. Sprout comes out. And they're looking for the Requiem from Bryo. LSA hits there onto AOI. Chasing onto the high ground may not be the smartest thing, is now they've got the Requiem flying out, but it doesn't look like Nigma or too desert or deterred, excuse me. LSA comes in with the dragon slave to get the quick kill there on the AUI. This shrine will be used to try and heal up here for fighting pandas. But they are still giving chase. They really would like to get this shot on a Brial. A two-man stun on both the Beastmaster as well as the Disruptor. But turning around is Brial into the Doom of GH. So right clicks coming through. They'll get the kill into the Doom. But they've got the Infernal Blade and the right click damage as well as the range coming in from the Dire side is enough to get the kill. Yule surviving. Snaking. Can he get the kill? It's actually the Disruptor who grabs a Moomiander though. Taking a lot of damage from the Tempest Double of Miracle is Mind Control now. Taking shots from Eternal Envy. Into the dome, right clicks in, Gus comes out, purification through from AOI to keep this drow alive. And now Mind Control attempting to TP out. A Thunder Strike comes through and the damage there from AUI to finish him off. They bring Miracle back, the right clicks come in to take out the Tempest Double, but they lose Moomiander. They'll TP away the full formed Arc Warden. In. And your initiator has that blink dagger, so he's looking to make a move with the Inferno Blade. Hits it here on the Brile. Here comes Mind Control. And now the BKB is going to be popped here by Brile. Look for the Requiem. That lands. Raises come in, but it's not going to be enough. The Guardian Angel comes in. And now fighting Pandas. How willing are they to fight? They've got Telekinesis onto the Omni Knight. Brile getting low. The stolen Requiem from Kuroki to get the kill onto the Shadow Fiend. They've also taken to the Beastmaster Omni Knight as well as the Disruptor. Second life here on the Brile. They'll take him out again. And this is looking really bad for fighting Pandas. Uh, playing so aggressive. They've got the glimpse and they'll static storm this Delina to get an easy kill on the Weeha. Flies too close to the sun, the sun being the radiant base. Push up onto the tier 2 of the side Enigma. While over towards top, Miracle's going for tier 3 tower. And this might be about just keeping them there and holding them back as they've got the glimpse in the kinetic field on the mind control, but the Doom comes in on the Brile. They'll silence up the Doom, but can they follow up this damage onto this Shadow Fiend as he's uh, just trying to back up while Miracle is doing what he does best, ratting this out with Arc Warden. They got the kill onto the Disruptor, and now our General Envy trying to do what he can to save this top set of racks. It's not going to be easy. The Tempest Double finally runs out. Miracle. 
Now Weha comes in, has the Yules, and LSA will hit. Laguna Blade comes in. Do they have the right-click damage with it? They look over to try and land a Sprout. They finally will. The Guardian Angel is going to be popped here as Brawl tries to turn this around, but there's the Hoof Stomp coming in from the Doom. That stops the Requiem from flying forward. Mind Control, though, is still going to be caught here and ends up dead within his own Sprout. They're going to look for more as Weha, he's also dead. A very odd couple of plays here from Nigma that lead to multiple heroes going down where I'm. So LSA comes in. Beastmaster all of a sudden in trouble. The dust comes out. Multi-shot coming through. They got the silence on a couple of these heroes on the side of the dire. They're going to lose GH immediately. He hasn't even been able to throw that doom out. Guardian Angel comes in, Static Storm is down, Mind Control is dead, and Miracle, he'll also die! He's gone for 84 seconds, Fighting Pandas have somehow... Three... High ground for Fighting Pandas. This comes in, Kuroki in trouble, Kuroki dead, the look over at Weeha, right clicks are through! Woo! <laughs> Weha gone, 82 seconds, no buyback. There's no buyback available on Miracle either. I think if you're fighting pandas, this is your time to just go, go, go. Look at how quickly they take these racks. You might even try for the tier fours if you really felt so inclined. Building very quickly, and now they'll move on to the racks set over towards top to even out this top lane. And they've got it. Mind control spotted. Primal Roar comes in. And, well, they've got the glimpse. They have the kinetic field. They'll get the kill here on a mind control. Not much you can do about that. As he's ghosted up and now dead for 90 seconds. There's the glyph LSA comes through. Still nothing. Blink, Infernal Blade, LSA, that's all gonna land, but again, can they even get this kill? Static Storm is down, as well as the Kinetic Field, the damage on a GH is gonna be more than enough. He'll buy back immediately, now they look over the Tempest Double, but they don't really care about the Tempest Double, they'll take Megas. Weeha looking for a stun to hit. As they both. Ag's Blessing. Do you give it a Bryo? The Ag's Blessing? Doom immediately getting the kill there on a GH. They got the Doom out of the Omni Knight. They'll also take a Kuroki. The Laguna Boy is going to be used, but they've got the Primal War to follow it up onto Weeha, who just gets melted. Miracle loses that Tempest double. Static Storm comes in. No way out for the Nature's Prophet. They'll get yet another kill. Bryle on a triple. But the damage ends up falling. They'll go for the Tier 4s. Can Nigma do anything about this? Continuing to put down the Dome to try and hold, but is that going to end up being enough? Laguna Boy comes in, they'll get the first life away from Bryal, but they've lost their tier fours, and now the Ancient exposed. Nobody really being able to dive in to stop this right-click damage coming in onto the Ancient. They'll get the kill there on a mind control as well as Kuroki, and the first game goes to Fighting Pandas. Get to the point where you put you just you know push and pulling the way back yeah, back six, and forth between the six two months mids. maybe a year ago ta would stomp ss but that time is long gone yeah. it doesn't happen anymore top mind, of mind control. control is he just gonna solo die here to moon i mean envy will join in for the kill i don't even need no, envy that. needed to uh, as envy's gonna be able to turn and push back gh under attack Miracle. He's, he's going to just get run down here. That's the shield. Oh. Does have the stick charge and maybe a bit of a bait. He's trying to turn here with the frost shield slow towards Aoi. The line on the flame just... guard. He's still got a fairy fire as well to play with Miracle. But uh, playing very, very Kuro. risky. And in fact, he's, he's baited Kuro into a bit of a disaster oh. himself. Kuro trying with the Duke out, but Snake King's able to finish him off. They're playing really well around these uh, fairy fires on the side of Figma. Oh. Ice Pop! Owie! He gets the catch! The fire slope is there! Or Damage not quite though. Fairy fire is it's forced now. Fires. Envy? Oh no. Yep. 
that. So it's, they agree Start, that it's a very nice It's starting to go a bit more to plan for Nygma on this top. get on top. So, you know, suddenly they're not able to, to sort of poke back at they're them. They're diving draw again. But Mind Control might be a problem. Instead. Let's see. I mean, they're going to kill Envy. They will maybe lose... Well, at least just the one of them. Assume Mind Control can cut his way through the trees. He's able to get through one. He has the Quelling Blade, so he should be able to continue to, to duke this out. Goes himself a little bit deeper, plays it safe with the smart TP. Mind Control will it... But you know, on this top lane, they're completely crushing the draw range. Now but that's are, to yeah. be expected right after a while. Miracle, however, I think he needs to have a much better game than draw so that he's able to be a playmaker for his team. He needs to get this farm. He needs to have a good lane. And so far, he's doing all right. Well, they're diving in for this for sure with the Frost Shield. Looking for Aoi. Miracle. Again. I mean, you, you, oh, God. okay. Another one. Uh, a little bit of the flashy stuff here for Miracle and Kuro. They continue they... to play fast. As they certainly need him to, to do so. Make that space at least right. for... Oh. I say space for We Are, but in a, indeed We Are sort of making his own space here with the pressure he's putting on on mid. They've got to bring TPs in. Moon's got to drop the Static Storm, but Moon, oh, he's going to be straight up dead. Chain Frost Bro, bounces that's out. That's and oh, oh hey, Kuro. Kuro. With the big balls, Chain Frost there, double kill. Hey, why? Yeah, they're not done. They should be able to get one of these trap slows off at least as how he tries to turn with the freeze onto GH, but GH counters the ice with a bit of ice of his own. The cold embrace keeps him oh. safe. He's able to turn, get the setup here, lines them up, as now we are could clean up even more. There's gonna be four dead on Disaster. fighting pandas. As Nigma come in aggressively, MV. He cleans up one. Can he get Weeha? Weeha's into the mail. There's no detection down. Weeha, he's actually ready to turn. He goes in. Miracle comes that's in with the backup. Wife. Refractions up and indeed, that's all five of them falling on Fighting Pandas. As Nick, that's what Fighting Pandas can do here. They'll come in with a big movement down bottom. Looks to take this tier one. TPs are coming in from Nygma. Kuro and GH want to try and hold this. Extra TPs are coming in as Fighting Pandas start to poke behind the tower. Kuro has to frost shield himself with Miracle TPing in. Now Fighting Pandas, they've got to be careful. Static Storm has been dropped on a Weeha as well as the back fire. Ice Path as well. The TA is falling low. Can they kill him? Finally, they will get Weeha. But Nygma, they'll be sure to turn and take kills in trade as Miracle cleans up a double on the back lines. They get Another the other wipe. two on the front lines. The rest of the team triple kill for Miracle. As Nygma continuing to just wipe Pandas. Paddy Brile on Fighting Pandas that's able to to hold some sort of power at this stage, keeping up with the three on Nygma. As we have the you know, MV's Drow falling behind. Bit of uh, pressure on him as well here as Mind Control eyes him up with the help of Kuro. There is a lot of protection for MV though. They'll try and turn towards Mind Control, but the setup's going to be there for the three-man curse. Miracle's ready to commit, jumps in with the remnant slide of fist. He's now godlike on the Ember, and he's going to continue to clean up the kills as he runs down MV with the Flame Guard. Slide of fist triple. takes down Moon. It's a very early triple kill here for Miracle, and he, you know he's not done yet. They've found Brile. Aoi, the last man standing here for fighting pandas as they'll Ultra. play around with him as well. Ultra kill for Miracle here at the 15 minute mark. You have to back off. Fighting Panas here is to turn up. This Ember is just going to cut you to pieces. Yep. The funniest part in that last team fight, he ran through Static Storm as well. Oh, MV. And this is also kind of funny, I guess. They're starting Not for to MV, crumble. Though. They're starting to crumble this time around, Fighting Pandas. Own. Yeah, this is just. It's getting messy. It's getting messy. And we. Shenanigans. No more messing around. And it, it's just sort of the heroes they're on, right? We, we've seen in the past on the different teams that they're on mind control. It does get gone upon here, and being alone should be an easy pick. They'll get, get, the, counter they'll get the doom. I mean, they will. They're already on to Brawl, the rest of Nygma. They'll say, you can happily take mind control. We're going to continue to bully your bigger core, take out the SF very well, and execute it in a manner where they were behind. They were pushed back. But this time, you know, it's Nygma saying, you cannot, you cannot pull the same trick on us twice. We saw what you did in game one. You know, Kuro, he's been playing the game of Dota 2 for quite some time. He's going to have an answer to it if you try and pull off the same draft two times in a row. And we really are seeing that here in this game too, as it's it's getting incredibly rough for fighting pandas. Every sort of element of, uh, uh, that they impressed us with in game one, it's out the window. So, no, nothing so, so far this exactly. game has looked any good, apart from like the first few minutes of gameplay from fighting so, pandas there. He'll live another day for now. But now they're outside of their base. Enigma is hunting. Brile, oh. he doesn't have a TP now. Uh, he sort of escaped one hell and, and stepped into another. On one side of the map, you have this Ember that's beyond godlike. These Godlike. are heroes you've seen these players pop off on. Radiant. Now you're seeing these heroes, you know, these players pop off on Dyer's both of these heroes on the same team. You've got to deal with both of these problems. 
They get a catch on GH. We'll have to lay quite a lot down with the Static Storm and Macropire for that support kill. Remember, he has Blink, he has the Lance. If he sees you, he will Winter's Curse. There we go, we are in. BKB pop does get held back by the Raw, but already Miracle starting to pick up the back lines. Moon's dead, Mind Control's in. Envy's got to run, but the trap's been set up from Weeha. The slow into the Doom as Miracle double kill takes out Snaking. We finishes off Envy. Uh, I don't think how he's going to be able to split push a Rax down on his own. He's going to try. I mean, that's the only play he has, and yeah, he's calling cool it. No TP. Yeah. And there's the GG. It, it really is all over this game, too. 21k lead, 23 minutes in. Nigma making this one look easy, and I think. I feel like Miracle has played Clinks less than five times ever in Pro Dota. For this okay. BL to start joining fights later on. Down bottom oh, here, the early levels hurt Moon. He's yoink. Hey, he's able to just snipe out the courier there from GH. Just GH was bringing it in a... Oh, sorry, no, GH was able to snipe the courier out of Moon. And, and GH made... Oh, yeah, I think GH, they're going to get the kill on Moon for that. So there we have it. He takes way too much damage from the harass. He's going to have to spend a fair bit of money keeping the regen out on him down on the bottom lane. And it's top lane. Miracle. Also, you know, not necessarily having a, an amazing time with the, the CS, but getting to the point where he can, with the two of them, just harass back the, the dual lane of Fighting Pandas, maybe even threaten a kill. See, Dan Bonham, GH was able to kill off Moon. Top lane, snaking, he's trying to go for the, the aggression on Miracle. It's actually going to pay off. The two of them get in the face of the Clinks, take him down. Kuro cannot find snaking either. Kuro as might Kuro, fall as well. He's burning as well. Howie, one more hit. One more. Oh. He just do it. Oh, he no, man. He's got the fairy fire prepared. Early them getting away with that kill. You know, with, with this Aban having such a good start and Brawl having a good time as well, you've got these two heroes that are going to be able to just run or zip him down. Oh, with ice path. Ice path onto the two of them. Kuro will fall. They do lose Snaking, so a trade in favor of Nigma this time round. Mm, Miracle's they, trying to chase. They Smith. might get him. Uh, one more hit will do it. Ow, he's trying to juke it out. The illusion is after him. Illusion will give the vision or perhaps even take him down, let's Ooh, see. Oh, but of course with the respawn coming in, the illusion will disappear. The PL needs to farm in the jungle. Moon Meander just needs to die here. That's it. Another kill for the two of them. He was insolent. He tried to defend versus an Underlord and the Wyvern and he fell. But he this is good. Ryle makes the move on to Miracle. He's dusted up, cannot escape. Storm, but you know, just if he sees these sort of chances to make these plays, it's hard for Nigma to, to sort of answer. He, he might be dead here. They get the drag back. He, Envy's there as well to offer up the extra bit of damage. Lance is down. Sentry as well. Weha, he's running. He's got the refraction back up, but very easy for them to keep oh, up the to heal. the top. Hey, do you get the curse? Mm -hmm. what? what? Oh, it was an illusion. Oh, uh, it was a he real did. illusion. He so did. Envy. Brow, run stop. And he might be able to get involved as well here. I mean, that's if Brow gives him the time to get in mind control. Very what? ambitiously trying for the, the rift out of there. There's no chance he's getting away with that one. Brow. What, what did we say? He ha They have no damage for the Underlord? That at this point in the game, they certainly do. Even with the hood, it's not enough to save him. Mid lane, Miracle finds the opportunity to take down Moon. Will just be a support kill. Nothing more. Chain Frost was thrown out in time. Medallion helps you with the kills, with the objectives. Maelstrom helps you with the farm, and you're going to need that farm. You're going to hope oh, for the hex. where did he go? Moon what did disappear. I mean, this is, you know, that's the physical output coming together. The TA Venge Medallion, and yeah. You are going to delete these heroes. Snaking. He's got the borrowed time to rely on. Bryal, again, perfectly finding these solo kill potentials. GH is going to freeze himself. It won't save him. Snaking. Does get dragged back, borrowed times down, and he will fall. That might be a bigger kill. They have the They've damage. got a great they lineup the for armor, it. Yeah. They, they really do. There's, yeah, every reason to do so with the, the Death Zone things. Well, I mean, at least yeah. a Weeha's mind. Looks like the rest of the team say no. Yeah, he We're has not one doing idea. It. They're not done killing. They'll look for the wraparound up top, get moved. Brile. I mean, can they get Pryle? He's so hard to find. And Pryle, he's I'm zipping in and having a poke at them. He feels very strong with the Pupil's Gift and the Bloodstone. He's got 2300 HP. This is a, a relatively tanky storm. For but what about the rest in. of them? The rest of them, they're just dying. They're finding targets and killing them off. Jakiro. Radiant's top tower has fallen. A bit of an attempt here from flying. And uh, fighting panda, sorry. So, uh, so gets here. They're gonna try for it. Pryle goes for the back lines. GH has already used the curse onto Moon. Pryle was able to avoid it. Pryle does want to get out though. As Nigma now returning the aggression with the full lineup coming in with the TPs. They'll get Moon. Snaking goes for the Bright Time TP out. Kuro's there with the swap. Vision was out from that trap.
Huh? Counter smoke. Have right, Tempe is ready. He and a play while Snakey says they may not expect this. They'll jump straight away on a Miracle. Miracle's gone. Ice buff. Vampire's out. Brow jumps in onto We are. They drag it back with a sinister gaze. We are falls as well. Brow's still alive and good to go. They're looking for a second chance. This Brow, another zip, keeps himself alive, gets away as We Hard comes back to life after the ages. No. You might even need the Silver Edge Hex for uh, the Abaddon, right? Yeah, well, that, yeah, exactly, that's the thing. Something even with like the that. Hex, there's still ways for Moon and Snaking to help their cause. Exactly. You see the, the commitment here to look for Moon. Moon does get the Chain Force down in time, and Brown Brown's straight here. in on the back lines, drags in GH, GH is dead, turns towards Kuro, Kuro silence, double kill for Brile. The Storm Show continues as Weeha, what's he trying to do here? He's popped the BKB, but uh, he's got to run. He went up to the high ground, he's got a BKB and blink out of there. That's not a fight that he can head into. Underlord is there as well, but he's completely useless as the PL just sent his illusions on him and just took all his mana. Some brow zip zapping about. You're never getting a right click in. Zip in, Brile knows he can play so aggressive here as he goes in onto GH. Miracle's trying to turn the burning armies out. Brile. Brile is getting a little low this time. Can he stay alive? He pops the Bloodstone heal. They've got the curse locking him down in place, but they've already lost two as Envy. It's just picking off the backliners. Brile will survive. Miracle TP's cancelled out by Owie's Ice Bar as Nygma will lose three. Triple kill for Envy. As Nigma, this is a beatdown. They really, really are losing it right now. Moon does fall, but he's actually able to deny himself to a neutral creep. So Nigma cannot get anything in response. Four heroes dead. Gets a kill. Yay! I got the support. It's something, they, but it's not they, a lot. Yeah, this is a part point in the game in which they forget to put down sentries for the clings. They don't really care much, much about them anymore. Here we go. A five man attempt here onto Snaking. Do you get the swap back? Ice Park's gonna be down. Snakey gets another shield out. He's gonna be able to run away. Now Kuro's turned upon Envy's in with the Basher. Kuro falling low. Brown in with a big zip. Goes straight towards GH. Make sure there's no curse this fight. Oh, he has popped the BKB. He's having the TP Basher. out. Envy tries for the Bash, but with the BKB out and TP, he does manage to escape here. But the rest of Nigma. They cannot get away from the chase and control and gap close of fighting pandas. Another easy fight. Bryle just continuing to rack up these bloodstone charges. The Hex is, it's finally out from Miracle, but is it just a little too little, a little too a late? A little. As their racks are falling. And there doesn't seem to be that much they can do about it. They're trying. They're trying to do Hex up Envy. Can they kill him off though? BKB pop and we are trying to commit for the shield down. Envy, Envy's healing Miracle. up already. Delete. Miracle is dead. He has no buyback on the clinks. As you know, there's just no hope for the carry clinks, it seems, this game at least, as it's had very little impact. There's as he just gets run over every single fight. This mid Rax is gone. Fighting Pandas, 14k up. Brile diving tier fours. Not a scare in the world. The as he stars. knows there is nothing that can stop him. Apart from a curse, maybe into his own team hit. Again, and Brile. Will he die? The heal from the on the mech. And Brile's fine. He's Saving. out. Weeha's out. Also of mana. The pitch dropped down, but Envy throws forward another Spirit Lance. Weeha's gone for 98. They've got to be considering calling it pretty soon, as this is getting so messy for Nigma. Fighting Pandas, they have just destroyed them here in this Game 3. They got far more, you know, than just revenge after that Game this 2. Connected. GG. It, it really is. This Game 3 performance and Game 1. I mean, Fighting Pandas, they've fighting done it. Pandas. The series, it is theirs 2-1. to one.